Okay, so uh, Ian, uh, tell us what we're going to do tonight and uh, what, you're go what you sent them previously. Sure. Uh, well, for those that, uh, that don't know, I was arrested with some other activists uh, a year ago, over a year ago, at a city council meeting for having a brown bottle which had water in it. We were doing a protest about the open container ordinance in town, and it was a silent protest, so we were sitting there, we had these rules that we were playing by. It was a drinking game that we were doing. And uh, so they don't like fun happening at their meetings, so they decided to arrest us. I was charged with disorderly conduct. Well, about a couple weeks ago, they dropped the charge, so it's not going to trial, it's, it's done. And, of course, that's because they had no case. I mean, they were arresting a, a peaceful, silent protest, basically, is what they were doing, targeting and arresting us, because they, like, <coughs> they don't like the message. So, <coughs> rather than suing them, because I don't feel like that's right, I feel like that's uh, continuing the cycle of violence, and I know a lot of people disagree with that, and, and that's great for them. They can go ahead and, and sue the state if that's what they think is a good, good tactic. Um, but I'd rather have an apology and a, a, what they call a proclamation. The city council uh, frequently issues these proclamations where they pat, pat each other on the back and you know, give each other awards and make statements that they think are important. So <clears throat> I want them to proclaim something. So I've got my request here, and I tell them about that you know, my right to protest was violated by Dale Pregen, that's the man calling himself the mayor, and also the uh, keen police chief, uh, Ken Miola. My friends and I were engaging in a silent protest of the open container ordinance, which I just explained, and so I kind of run that down, and I said that I was arrested illegally because I was refused to consent to a search of my property or leave the ostensibly public meeting neither of which am I obligated to do. The charges in this matter have been dropped by the Superior Court, as they likely recognize there's no case here and I'd be wrong, I've been wrongfully persecuted. I would appreciate a written apology from both Dale Pregent and Ken Miola, acknowledging they were wrong for stopping the meeting, because they interrupted their own meeting, uh, to threaten the peaceful protesters and having us arrested. I would also like a proclamation by the full City Council that from now on, Peaceful, silent protests at city council meetings will be left unmolested. What about the double standard? Because there were some activists drinking from bottles that read, not a beer. I didn't mention that. Yeah, they did say not a beer. And then um, at the front uh, table where the council members were, they were drinking, could have been water, could have been vodka, could have been gin. Yeah. And, uh, but there was no, nobody demanded that their beverage was tested. That's true. Yeah, so, they were definitely not treating everyone equally at that meeting. And so what do you think their response is going to be? I, I expect them to completely blow it off. Hmm. And do you think that uh, people are going to be safe if they want to uh, drink beverages there? Well, I guess the, the ultimate question would be to, to test it out again and see, you know, have folks bring their beverage of choice, you know, and uh, whether it's in a brown bottle or whatever and have another, you know, drinking game and see if they're safe. I mean, they were safe the second time. Two weeks after the initial arrest, where three people were arrested, there were maybe four people playing the drinking game. Uh, the second time, there was about a dozen people, and they completely left them alone. So even though they dropped the charges, do you feel like you've already been punished because of having to jump through their hoops? Yeah, clearly. I mean, I've, uh, I've sat under the threat of a trial and two misdemeanor charges because I got a contempt of court charge as well. Since I was out on bail when I was arrested, you automatically get a contempt of court charge. So I was looking at two misdemeanors, probably like 18 months in jail, and it's impossible to plan your life when you've got that looming over your head. It's impossible to, you know, commit to something. If my trial's going to be early December, as it was, was supposed to be, there would be no way for me to you know, put any time into, like, long-term projects, because if I'm going to be taken away from my freedom, you know, halfway through that, that's just no good. What's the punishment for uh, drinking um, from a brown bottle in a, um, a meeting? What could have the penalty be? Well, it's not illegal to drink from a, a bo brown bottle in the meeting. There's, there's no crime there. I mean, that's not even open container. Uh, open container has to do with alcohol, you know, the container. So... Basically, the crime was not handing over the bottle to the the police officer, the chief Miola or whatever. Uh, he wanted to search my bottle, and I refused to that. So he was upset about that and said he wanted me to leave the meeting, which is a public meeting. So like it was just completely, from their own rules, illegal from the get-go. I, mean, I could have consented to a search of the bottle, I suppose, but it's my property, and I see no reason to consent to such a search. 
And it was labeled not a beer. Yeah, and I wasn't drunk, and I didn't have alcohol on my breath. There was no staggering or, you know, he had no probable cause to believe that what I had indeed was an open container of alcohol. Hmm. Okay, Ian, well, anything else you want to say? No, thanks for the, uh, the interview. Appreciate it. No problem, and then uh, I guess uh, the meeting will be at uh, what time tonight? I believe 7 tonight. Okay. Dean, City Hall. All right, thanks.